In this box, I've got the Rolalo AK-917. Am I a bit late to the party on this? Anyway, roll the tape. This is the new Rolalo AK-917 110th scale supercar. It's been one of the most hotly anticipated cars of 2023 and a little bit controversial. So in this video, I'm going to give you my honest review of the Rolalo AK-917. This is AK-917, the good, the bad and the ugly. So a big thanks to Rolalo for supporting the channel and sending me this car to review. First, I'll give you a run through of the car's features. Well, I say first, but I have actually taken the car out to get an opinion on this before I film it. And that's why if you're looking at it, it's a bit dirty and it's got a few scratches. So find out how I did those later. So I've got the metal chassis version and I'm gonna run through some key features and what it does have and doesn't have compared to the carbon fiber version. First, let's take a look at the body shell. Wow, doesn't it look beautiful? You've got working LED lights at the front and rear and some scale details at the rear. Some people have questioned if we really need these, but I really like them. Right, let's get the body off and have a look inside. You've got a big beefy chassis brace across the top. It's plastic on this version, but carbon on the carbon fibre version. Here's a little tip, make sure your antenna is running along the centre brace, because mine came all bundled up like this and the range was terrible. I was told this was something that had been fixed, but mine still came like this. Front and rear shock towers are anodized metal with some really nice beveling. Shocks are metal, adjustable and oil filled. You've got double wishbone suspension, front and rear. You can set the camber to three different settings using this screw here. And tow in and tow out at the front and rear is adjustable using these links. Center drive shaft is metal. On this version, it's all one piece. On the carbon fiber version, it has a center support and it's split into two parts. The motor on this version is a 3650, 4300 kV. ESC is 60 amp with a temperature sensor. Good steering servo, decent reaction speed. There was an issue with the early YouTuber versions rubbing on the drive shaft, but those have been fixed now. The battery tray is a decent size. It comes with a really small 2S, but that is a hard case 2S. But as you can see, I can fit this 5200 milliamp hour 2S in here fine. I'm also using this 4200 milliamp hour 3S which seems to fit well. Controller is your usual affair from Rolalo. These are based on Dumbo RC X4s. It has steering and throttle trim, steering and throttle dual rates, and these are your channel reversers. It says in the manual that channel three and four are for the lights and turbo mode, but mine doesn't seem to do anything at all. Right, let's get the body shell on and take it out for a run. Okay, so today we're going to start a little bit differently. Everyone always focuses on how fast this car can go. Oh, new supercar can go 100 miles per hour, 200 kilometers per hour, 3 billion miles per hour. But today I thought I'd focus on just like what it's like to drive on the 2S it comes with and not focus on speed runs. Most of us don't live in a place where it's convenient to be doing speed runs. This is the kind of surface you're going to drive it on. It's going to be paved, a little bit uneven and you're not going to be doing any speed runs here. So I've got the slowest gearing on and we're going to have a look at how it handles. So like I said, this is the slowest gearing. It comes with the slowest gearing out of the box. Oh, 
I think they've set the braking very high out of the box because they anticipated people would be going fast with it. Because whenever I tend to tap the brakes, it does tend to lock up the wheels. I think it handles very well. I think it's pretty much point and shoot. Of course, you can drift it if you want. Yeah, this kind of surface, no way. The suspension has no, not enough travel for this. But over here, this should be okay. You'll be able to see those lovely lights in here as well. It is gonna be absolutely filthy when it comes out of here. So the manual says, apparently, you can turn the lights off and on with channel four. Although it seems to make no difference when I press it. Absolutely filthy. I have to give it a wash when we get back. Right, the 3S is going in. Got to be a lot more gentle on 3S as tyres like to break traction on you. You can see it's a pretty good, decent 3S street basher. What you are about to see is probably the worst speedrun attempt in history. A combination of a wet road, windy conditions, firefighters training, and my only free morning for an entire week. Viewer discretion is advised. I think we can still get a 2S run in. So we got a speed of 82 kilometers per hour on 2S with the speed gearing. Now let's put a 3S in and see how fast we can go. Oh yeah, this is not going to make the speed running harder at all. Okay, here we go on 3S. Oh dear. Don't think that body panel is going to be as nice as it was before. And it looks like we broke a link in there. So unfortunately, this speed runs over. But we can still see how fast we went. There you are, 97 kilometers per hour on 3S. Pretty sure it can go faster than that, but we flipped over. So what do we think in the end? Well, I think Rolalo have made a very good 3S street basher here. And I think there was also far too much hype and marketing put into its supposed top speed. Because it's really not set up for speed running out of the box, and you'll have to know what you're doing to get the best out of it. Also, is it okay to say that a car can go 120 kilometers per hour after you change the electronics and gearing? It's like saying that a VW Beetle can go 150 miles per hour after you change the engine. I still think what you've got here is a very nice car. It looks really nice and it's got some really nice scale details and it will be good fun in your local car park. I'm just not sure it's a speedrun car. I'll definitely be making more AK917 videos in the future where we'll see if we can actually get it to that claimed 120 kilometers per hour. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to subscribe. And as always, stay charged.